wait, hang on. Did decide it wanted to go? Yes, okay, yeah. there it goes. Hello, everybody! Welcome to a brand new LP that's post commentary entirely. With me, I'm joined by Derek Grant. Hello. And Stealth Fang. Hey, what's up, guys? That's right, Stealth Fang. His first commentary! Holy fucking crap! Yep. His first commentary! I need to turn the volume on this down a little bit, it is a little high. Wow. There. See, this is why I had all. Never, I had to do this. I always turned the volume down before I started recording series. Sh shut up, I forgot. I don't normally do this. You're normally one who records. Yep. Anyway, right here, I don't know what to choose. Normal or easy? Don't know. Uh, I go for normal. Yeah, I did I go for normal hard. in the end. Yeah. This game is. Actually, hang on, what's everyone's- Okay, I know Derek's experience with Metroid, he has none. I know the main character's name is Samus. Yeah. And that's all you got. <laughs> <laughs> you know absolutely nothing else about this series, you're a fucking- Oh, uh, you're a knob. Oh, god damn it! I said I was gonna cut out the cursing. Yep. You're Look at that! Lying, Look at that, not even 30 seconds in. Anyway, more fall, hooray! I don't know if everyone's at the same time I am. I'm at a minute, I'm up for a minute and a half. I'll crop this out of the video while I'm doing it. A uh, minute and, yeah, a minute and a half. Anyway. Showing off the, how short and terrible your beam is at the start. Ugh. I think when but, I was a kid, I never actually knew Samus was a girl until, like, he just died, and they actually show her animation. Yeah. When, when, when I was young, the first Metroid game I ever played all the way through was Metroid Prime 2, and Jesus Christ, I hate that. I hate that as a Prime, in the Prime series. It's the worst one, in my opinion. I haven't played any of the Metroid games. Yeah. In my opinion, the first one had the best uh, atmosphere, third one had the best overall combat, and showing off the short beam again. And I think the uh, last Metroid game that came out with, I think, Other M. Oh god, don't get me started. I'm sorry, the freaking out with Ridley, it, it just, I just turned the game off and gave it back after that. It's just like, no, you, you can't do this, Sakamoto. <laughs> he, he pretty much just destroyed Samus right there. It's like, do you know how many times she's fought this thing? Yeah. Let me see, this is supposed to be right before Fusion, so that means she's fought him a total of six times before then. Yeah, exactly. And I know somebody out there is going to be like, well, he's resurrected. He came back. What part of she fought him six times before then don't you get? Yeah. He's a Time Lord. <laughs> uh, a Time Lord, of course. Anyway. So, yeah. Stealth, what's your overall experience with Metroid games? Um, well, I mean, my first Metroid game had to be Fusion. And honestly, Lovely game. Uh, that game was, like, actually more linear here. Like, it only had, like, they'd actually tell you what to do, but yeah, they, most games, They wouldn't like, tell you how to do it, though, at least. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see the linearity when I played it. Um, I actually just picked it up, like, a month ago, for the first time. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, it is probably my favorite 2D Metroid game. Yeah. I do enjoy it more than this one. It just feels more refined to me. Yeah, it's like most Metroid games, like, sometimes it has to do with more in the environment and what goes on. But, like, in Fusion, you, you're just, like, stuck in the station. Like, it, the it's... whole space station. And, oh god, I forgot how bad I suck at jumping. Then again, this is me using a joypad right here. Mm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Could you tell I had missed that? My, guess what my jump, guess what my jump buttons are? What? My left stick. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed up the, I screwed up the control setting that badly. But my left stick, for the entirety of the first three parts, is my jump button. I've become very adept at clicking left. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, and well, I... Only you, Cyrus. Oh, shut up, Derek. <laughs> I at least banged it either up or space. Yeah, space, like me, if I'm using a keyboard, it actually used K and L. L to shoot and K, because they're right next to each other. Oh yeah, I guess that one would make that one would actually make sense. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I never thought of that setup. No. Uh. There, I will not lie. I went back over the series, and at the very end, I realized last episode I forgot to cut the deaths out. There's a uh, two areas that I show off where if you screw up, you're going to die pretty much immediately. I do show it off how it happens too. I don't think we get to the first. 
Uh, no, it wasn't actually a screw-up. It was me legitimately doing it because I screwed up in the past. Oh. When I wasn't recording. Like, I was grinding for energy, and then I'm like, Oh, crap, well, I didn't know this could happen, so I'll show people. <laughs> that, and now, we have the long beam. Hooray! No, you don't suck as much. Shut up, Derek. <laughs> it's the truth. I hate you. Well, the truth hurts, Cyrus. Ugh. Anyway, so, oh, I'd never bother to ask. Uh, stealth, um, you want me to send these videos to you when we're done with this? So, oh, boll bollocks. I just get made myself dizzy by staring at that. Yeah, wow. sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look at that, everybody. Stealth's first commentary. Yeah, actually, I'm actually hoping to do, uh, in the future, some X and Y. Oh, my God. I would watch that in a heartbeat. Yeah. Actually, oh, yeah, this area I hate. It feels like a cock block. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that when the thing you're trying to get to is a giant pulsating brain monster. <laughs> I really should not say that there. But that is what it feels like. It's like, I just want to kill it. And, I, oh, did this thing kill me? Oh, please tell me it did not kill me and I forgot to, okay. Hey, I thought I'd done hey, something sir, really so dumb. I think it killed you and you forgot to record it. Shut up, Derek. You really want to just see me die? Yep. Ass. I'm Scottish. That doesn't cover that. Oh, I hate you. I know. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh. Yeah, sir, just keep in mind, I'm the one who's paying for our collateral server. It... I'm the Minecraft server. Shut up. Anyway, so then. Um, this is just the thing. My fire button is actually the right trigger, so I decide to keep this something I'm used to. Yay. But... Okay, I'll give you a full layout of my controls right now. Fire? I'm using a PlayStation gamepad instead of an Xbox gamepad. Yes, because I don't have an Xbox gamepad. I've only got, th I've only got a PS3 one. Anyway. Yeah, I, wow. I, 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 mm. I'm, I only think half that came through, but I think you said you've got a PS2 one. No, PS3. Oh, you've got a PS3 one too. <laughs> right. God damn it! Why do I suck? Um, I want oh, to say um, something, but I'm not going to. For people who don't realize it, that uh, purple little bug that was on Sam right there, um, that can hurt you if enough of them get on you. And also, um, I can't actually get up there because I don't have. I'm trying to get up there. I'm sh trying to show it off that you can't get up there. Also, I don't realize that until... I don't realize that for a little while. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, I thought I'd cut this out. Yet... Oh, you thought you cut out your feelings? Wow. Oh, shut up, Derek. Melon, I realized... Oh, there's a save room here. Should probably use that. Now, oh, what you guys don't notice here is a jump cut. Was that a jump cut I noticed? Oh, you did not. <laughs> of course. Anyway. Um, I've actually died three times at this point. Look, Cyrus, your editing skills are nothing in compared to mine, so you don't- You get me to edit everything, including- I don't Super get you Meat to Boy. edit- <laughs> Super Meat Boy's your playthrough! Why, why would I be editing your playthrough? I don't know. It's like a bored of it. Oh, well, I am currently annoyed at Super Meat Boy. Really, oh, yeah. because I set myself the near impossible task of a plusing all the levels. You mean the t task of getting the Dark World ending? By the way, I found out that final boss fight—it's pretty much a joke about Super Mario. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Well, the final boss fight, but then the final level is insane. Oh, and this thing—I fucking hate this thing. First time, I first time I was going, I just ran right into it. That's just the one little bot thing. The worm. Yeah. Like, as, as you can yeah. kind of guess from me saying, oh, that thing, I'm not actually looking at the screen right now. Are you playing Warframe still? Nope. I'm playing Solitaire on my phone. You piece of... Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> Stealth, we kind of interrupted you in the middle of asking what your uh, Metroid experiences were. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, first, my first Metroid game, like I said, was Fusion, and then I played Other M. And actually, I think they actually make uh, Samus feel like more weak. Oops. Like, 
Like her, well, they tell yeah. her like sensitive side, like for that. Um, for other M, yeah, they do. Yeah. For like, fusion, I it's a bit more understandable with fusion. Yeah. And like, first up, like, go like, go ahead. Fusion, like they'll explain uh, how Samus feels, and I think uh, who was that? I think Adam. Yeah, Adam. Adam, Adam Malkovich. Her. Yeah. Uh, I think he actually died in, uh, few, yeah, other M. Yeah, he did. Because he sacrificed himself just to, uh, get, uh, Samus out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but here's something. If you read Fusion, it states that Adam had died years before that had happened, yet look at here. Yeah. Other M is set, what, a year before Fusion? Yeah, probably. Uh, that's just... By the way, uh, if anyone's playing this, watch out for these things. They never stop spawning. Anyway, back to what you were saying. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I, I, like I, I said, like I said before, it's more like I most Metroid games like you're free to do anything, but for I think like Fusion, it's much more linear to me. Like you have mm -hmm. like one set of things to do. Like the computer will tell you to, oh, well, okay, you're gonna have to go here. You're gonna have to go here, defeat this boss. After that, you're gonna have to get this power up from it. Well, the first time it makes sense because it's like, well. Go and get your morph ball because it's kind of something you need. Mm -hmm. Next time, missiles. Okay, we need those. And then after that, it's just like, okay, no, no, you should be letting me get this at our own rate, at my own rate. Yeah. And god damn it! By the way, another thing, I do have to mention. I actually do a, I actually break, uh, do a pace breaking instance on complete and utter accident. I found out. I believe I get the ice beam in this part. Mm. And I'm not supposed to have it until very late game, if what I've heard is true. Yeah, I, I think most games get like the ice beam at least later, later on. In, in yeah, I, I don't, I don't know if this one in particular, the ice beam is supposed to be the first beam upgrade yet or not. Mm. If it is, that would be a de definitely a change of pace. I mean, even look at Metroid Prime. I don't think you got the ice beam until it was the second last beam you got. <laughs> And I could have actually broken that there, I think. I'm kinda glad I'm not the one recording this time. <laughs> yeah. Cause, uh, yeah. It's probably just better Derek's not recording this time, because he has no care for this. He has no <laughs> care for the series, and he needs to go and start caring. At least, don't be like that guy on the internet who's like... I, I don't even want to pretend to be that guy, he's so gross. What okay. guy? That guy. The one who you can only defy is that guy. Charge oh. beam, hooray! I don't use it at all. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I don't use the charge beam that often. Is that the whole thing you button to attack? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, it does grant you the, um, the somersault attack though, which will hurt you if you don't have the screw attack. Yeah. So it's effectively pointless. On the other hand, it does kill- into the liquid. It doesn't look like quarry. Shut up! <laughs> You're like a second and a half ahead of me. And I'm already, and I'm already back to sucking. God damn it! <laughs> oh, shut up, Derek. I can't help it. I'm very mindy. Oh, oh, god damn it, Derek! And I'm playing a female <laughs> character again, no less. If anyone from Stealth Channel decides to come over to mine, one thing you'll notice immediately, I'm almost always playing a female character. <laughs> uh, it's why. true. Almost always. Even in Warframe, it's a female character. <laughs> but in Warframe, it, almost every time it's like, oh, well, oops, I chose a female character. But it always happens. <laughs> Unless it's a distinctive thing, it will always happen. And at this point, well, at least before. First time I actually went out of my way to choose a female character was uh, Mass Effect. Mass Effect 2 to be precise. Because oh, okay. I got two before I got one. That's still not complete, Mass Effect. Uh, Mass Effect 3 has... meh. I, I say just end it on Mass Effect 2 and say, well, that's a proper ending. I Cliffhanger! Complete, complete Mass Effect 1. E. Wait, that's what I like meant. Like where you can choose your your own choices, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, cool. it's pretty much the game that started the whole modern. It it started the modern uh, morality choice system. I'm oh. tempted to say it's Fable, but in space. But then I'd get a bunch of Fable fans. It's not. Well, fans it's, and Fable fans. 
Sword well, actually, Fable Sword. fans would probably be happy since the only good Fable game was Fable 2. Mm. Well, it, in Sleem my. Right there, we disagree with you. What? Does Liam actually like Fable 3? No, you mean first Fable. First Fable. Oh, first. Oh, the first one was an experiment. I'm willing to forgive it if it was bad. Like, if any game's the first in a series, I'm willing to forgive it for being bad, like Agris War, for instance. I forgive the first one. It doesn't have its combat quite down in its new series. Oh, hey, we got bombs. Second one, combat's just right. And then the third one is devoted solely to combat and side character development. The, Wait, sir, sir, the main character mean nothing. I do. Then why are you complimenting it? Because I will say the combat and the music are good. Those are the only things, though. I'm sorry, if there's any Agrisor fans out there, you know I'm right! <laughs> Seriously, Stealth, Agrisor became available via Steam. Give it really? a check. Yeah. Alright. It's under Agris Generations of War, though, so... Yeah, they changed around the name a little bit. It used to be Ag um, Record of... Uh, Agris Record of... Re re bleh. Fuck it, I can't talk right now. Right, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said those things will hurt you. Ugh. I hate those stupid purple bug things. On the other hand, Whoa. I did find out there's a little something you can do with them to once again... Actually, I could have actually uh, used those bugs earlier to have helped me out. And I'm so trying to do the... those bug things? They, they're essentially parasites. You can use them to destroy some types of plants, but you have to physically move them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm still getting used to the controls in this episode. Because, of course, I suck at games. At least if anyone has seen... I, I'm just... At this point, it's me... <laughs> hey, sir, it, it's... can't fault you for having a cardboard computer. Well, no. But, no, this is me getting used to controls. That has nothing to do with computer strength. No, but it's like most of the time you're terrible because of terrible lag. Which well, is caused because you have a cardboard computer. Shut up! Most of well, game. it's true. It is true, my computer might as well be cardboard. It can run a Game Boy emulator. Or it can, anything from the Game Boy below, it can run fine. I tried a DS emulator. Nope. Wow. Game Boy. Game Boy Blow. Game Boy Color or just Game Boy? Uh, Game Boy Advance. Sorry. Right. I should have been more. Why did I let that. <sighs> you know what? I just think. Uh, I suck. That's simply it, I suck. You know, in the event this part goes on for too long, I'm just gonna put up our logo right next to Stealths. <laughs> By the way, send me that uh, send me that image right qu uh, not right now, but uh, when we're done with this. Alright. Oh, oh, not me. So, so, you were gonna send me the image for- oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Shut up, Derek! I clearly stated Stealth before I said anything about you. Well, clearly I wasn't paying attention. Obviously. Bickering of a Scottish guy and an Irish guy. Uh, Scottish guy and an Irish guy, God damn it! I'm not Irish! You're French. <laughs> Shut up. French-American. Hey, you're the, one, you're the one who told me you were French, so... Yeah, so. yeah, so right there, what I'm doing is just checking, making sure there's nothing behind him that I lose the, the ability to get. And, oh, I do need to mention this to anyone who's playing this on an emulator. Um, in the event your computer crashes in the middle of emulating it, there is a 1 in 10,000 chance that when you boot this back up, the game will decide, well, you now have every missile, super missile, and everything in between except for power bombs in the game. Wow, an emulator easter egg. Yeah, not an easter egg, a glitch. Oh, glitch. Definitely a glitch. Because that's what happened to me. I had every super missile and missile in the... Like, the game just crashed. I tried to load out and get rid of the stuff at one point. And it just... The game says no. It's like, you now have this forever. <laughs> so it's great for scrubs who've never played the game, like me. Well, Derek, I don't think you'd ever play this game. Now, here's the thing. Um, in order to get the best possible ending in this game, you need to beat it in two hours. I beat it in four. Wow. So, you know what I did? I had Alex go ahead and play it on his emulator, and I just recorded that ending. <laughs> Well, yeah, still, if you're wondering who Alex is, it's Sarah's his younger brother. Yes. And no, we do not have the same last name, don't ask why. So why don't you have the same last name, Larry? Oh, shut up, Derek. Whoa, 
This guy's saying it wants to be a little odd. Ooh, and... Computer. Oh, shut up! I swear to God, when I get over to Scotland, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> yeah. You can't see it right now, but I am shaking my fist. Okay. I have no threatening okay. value at all, as long as I'm just a voice on the internet. <laughs> it's just, it's a fact! Serious, don't forget, I used to play rugby, so... That's true, too. <laughs> anyway, so then. Metroid, everybody! I really thought the part had ended earlier. Did I actually... Did we go to the second part already, or... Do I, I know? No, we didn't. We're still in the first part. <laughs> what time are we You're at, actually? Being inept, Cyrus. I'm just being inept. Uh, I may have recorded a part that was slightly too long. Coming, we're coming up for like 20 minutes. 20, 20 first minute. E. Well, I'm pretty sure that I'm. I'm gonna use my other computer right quick and check how long I made the parts, just to be safe. God, and let me see. Computer. Shut up, Derek! I swear to God. <laughs> Anyway, so we're just coming up on the 20 minute mark, it is a 22 and 36 oh. second video. It's, we're coming up for the 21 minute and 30 seconds mark. Right. Well then. And, and oh, once again, I'm going to places I should not be. Did you just grenade jump or something? No. Well, oh. maybe I did, I don't know. You're a few seconds ahead of me. If you met the one... Ooh. Yeah, I think I actually did. Anyway, now, everybody, let us get to know a little bit more about our guest commentator. Stealth, what do you got for us? Um, like what? Anything, really. <laughs> In other words, we completely ran out of topics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what crap. Did not mention politics or religion. That's what our other friend does. Who is yes. Kind of annoying when he does do it. Yep, which is why he normally ends up getting kicked out of the conversation. Oh, uh, hang on. Just one thing I want to admit. I did something stupid here. What? Oh, Ed. Yeah. Uh, you saw it about three seconds ago. I jumped out of the thing, ran into a spiked enemy, and oh. then fell in the lava. Yeah. Anyway, this is the end of the part, everybody. At least I'm pretty sure it is. I thought I ended them yep. all at safe states. Part at two. safe states, safe stations. Yay!